I've got a mock-up of the new update in Transport Fever and wow, this update is going to change this game forever! So as we all know in Transport Fever 2, every city requires two resources. But wait a second, actually no, in this new update, they require every single resource. The mock-up that you can see on screen right now is simulating what's going to happen throughout the ages. In this case, as you can see, it is machines and food. But you might also be noticing, there is also some other industries, like you can see goods, fuel, bricks, all these industries popping up alongside. Now what this update does, it means the further you advance into the game, the more products a city is going to want. Let's plays and just playthroughs in general are going to last significantly longer. What it's going to add is a new meta. That is right, a new meta to the game, which is going to be, we're going to be shipping every single product to one place on the map, or maybe even two. And the reasoning for this is very simple, because it actually wants you to do what happens in real life. You go into a goods yard and you're picking up exactly what you need for the area the train is going. This update means that you are actually going to have lots and lots of little trains that are going to feed your goods yard. And they're not going to make any money, they're going to make you a loss. So you will not be doing goods yards early game, they will be direct services until you get later on. But for every dollar lost by those small trains, the big trains are going to make it back because the big trains are no longer going to be boxcar, 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 or hopper, 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 hopper. You are now going to start seeing hopper, boxcar, 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 flatbed, 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 something like that on the same train, which is brilliant to see in this game because it is actually a very rare occurrence to see that in the current state of Transport Fever. And I'm really happy for this because I've been wanting to see this in the game for a long time. And if you're interested in content like this, I have a brutal mode let's play, which is basically the hardest possible difficulty in Transport Fever, and that's including mods. So if that interests you, check this video out right here.